Hi guys, on my last episode I want to show how I fit the sockets, how I will um, change the push switch button because um, I try to find the original button but it's not possible and I order the button for push button for uh, steering wheel heating and I will change, I will show how and um, at the final of the video I will show how to connect the cable from the, the remote control uh, have this cable for remote control which uh, I will talk later about this but now you have the first socket if you order the same type of socket from the episode 2 you can see the shop from where you can order is special for caravans and cars you need uh, uh, to drill a hole with a size of between 45 and 50 millimeters um, I think 48 I think you have even the cutter 48 size 48 millimeters you have access from here you know so this is only you need to pull is is no nothing break all you can access inside to see what is there if it's not a cable if it's not not it's something there i scratch it by mistake here because i tried to remove and was not possible and i was rushed to to do the the hole and i scratch it i'm sorry for that but i hope you can do a better definitely one small hole and I pull a cable I use a very thick cable is for 300 400 volts I think it's better if it's thicker than thinner and of course you can pull along the tray and inside the, the inverter and the second is more difficult because I install there and you need to remove the the middle box to remove the middle box you need first time to remove the, the door to remove this door you have two buttons two screws here you can re uh, use a screwdriver of course but you remove only the screws you need to close this door and pull it up this is a, like a trick if you don't want to break something it's possible to break something if you try to to remove when the door is open because I have some clothes here and the, okay after you need to remove this you need only to pull up After you remove this, this is fixed with either four pins or how they call. You need only to pull out, it's coming easy. The way where the cable is going, it's like this, coming here. You, you, you need to unplug this. To unplug this, you need to take this out. And you have this small the bolt you need to take out the pin with a knife or something and after you pull out the pin a little bit it's coming out and you need to pull out pull up all this it's not coming out full but you will have enough space to pull the cable under This piece is a bit difficult to remove full. This is why 
like enough only to pull up a little bit and you can start from here to pull the cable inside and follow that that path and the other side is going inside the boots and he can follow the